So we got a lot of questions about how we print our numbers on jerseys throughout our athletic season. So I wanted to go over and make a quick video, just kind of show you guys how we do it here at ICS Inks. Um, we use a, a, a system by Westar uh, Solutions that's called the Quick Draw System. Basically what it is, it's a master frame. It has uh, individual frames that contain each number and you just sort of swap them in and out depending on what number you, you want. In this case, we have a, um, we're printing eight inch numbers on the back of these jerseys. We've already printed the front numbers and the front logo previously. If you kind of look down on this mirror, want some tips to remember, we put a mirror underneath our jersey so we can always see what number's on the front. So when we go to print the number on the back, we don't put like a 98 on the back of a 99. Uh, another tip is we try to keep keys uh, available right in front of us so when we're working, in this case we have all the numbers that we use and with a, just a piece of tape we just move them up and down depending on what number we are so we can remember what number we need to put on, what number we did last. And also we have just a match up what color jersey goes to what color ink. So that's all that paper is. Um, so let's just print one. On the back of each of these screens, we previously coded them, and we kind of learned that lesson. We, we coded them initially. They're, they come as a 110. We coded them initially the first time we used it, which is a single coat on, on each side. Now we coat them a single coat on the, on the uh, inkwell side, and then four, up to four coats on the, the print side over the course of four days. You know, print, you know, coat, then dry, then coat, then dry, then coat, then dry, and that builds up a, an extensile thickness that's thick enough that we get a really contrast, high contrast print, which is one, one pass, no flash. So let's take a look. We're using uh, the, the, the emulsion that we have on these screens is actually the, the uh, Ulano 925. It's a water resistant emulsion. <clears throat> and we're using uh, uh, Union's uh, ATHP 1070 white, which is basically just a, a high plastisol based white, or a high uh, uh, poly based uh, low bleed white. So. Let's take a look, put it on the dryer. If you look, by screen printing them, you get all the performance of the, of the garments. So we don't cover any of the holes. The garment breathes nicely, and, and that, that print is nice and uh, will last a long time. Also, the question is, if we were to flash these, then all those holes would be plugged with all that extra ink. By not flashing them, we can pull those holes out as we go. We found out the hard way that if you put a couple pieces of paper down under each, each uh, jersey when you're printing, and you can just pick up that mess after you're done and, and peel it away and, in this case, throw it in our handy box over here. When you're done and you're ready for the next one, you just take another couple scraps of paper. As you can see, these are, these are catalogs or magazines that we just had in the shop. A quick spray tack, and then you just load the next garment. So if you guys are using transfers or you're using vinyl and, and maybe you want to give screen printing your numbers a try, take a look at Weststar. And uh, good luck.